Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video and tonight I am here at Broadwood on the pitch uh, as I've got my media pass for tonight. It is the Scottish Junior Cup final. Uh, it is Rutherglen Glen Cairn against Cupnock Juniors. Going to be a great game tonight, 50-50. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you all when I get a few shots of the stadium. Right, so John by Luke, big game here at Broadwood tonight. Uh, the Scottish Junior Cup final, what do you think the score will be? Uh, I'm hoping for a 3 1 win term, uh, but I think we can win it all. I'm hoping we can. We came so far and we are the underdogs for a lot of people, so I'm hoping we can just bring it home. I thought we deserve it. So we're joined by Glenn's manager, Willie Harvey. How does it feel to be in the final tonight? Absolutely brilliant. I mean, look at the nice stadium. Terrific surface, terrific weather. Both teams got good supporters coming, lots of supporters. A good night. Yeah, so how does it feel to coach a team like Glens then? Well, I've been doing it for 13 years and I was there before as assistant manager. So, aye, it feels great. They're a, they're a good group of honest people, committed people who work their socks off. The players we bring in are not the best paid, but they work their socks off. We've yeah. got players turning up for training after working, we've got 18 of your 20 squad every week. Less, never less than 18. It's mm -hmm. good. Do you think it'll be a tough challenge tonight against Cumnock? Well, we've played Cumnock before. We've played Cumnock a few times. The assistant manager is one of my ex players, my ex captain, Stevie Aitchison. Mm -hmm. And Stevie's now assistant coach, other coach yeah. at Cumnock. So he knows us inside out, we know Cumnock inside out. At the end of the day, it all makes up. It could be a really, really good game. <laughs> good luck for tonight. Cheers. Here come the Cumnock players onto the pitch at Broadwood, all coming out individually. Look at the sunshine here at Broadwood tonight, brilliant night for the footy. Out come the Rutherglen Glencairn players onto the pitch at Broadwood now as well. There is the trophy for the game tonight, look at that, very nice trophy. We'll have to wait and see who is going to lift this tonight. We've got the Cumnock Junior players warming up here and on the far side are the Glens players. Look at the support tonight from both sets of fans. You've got mostly Cumnock Junior fans in this stand, that section there and then over there you've got most of your Rutherglen Glencairn fans. Brilliant to see. I just want to take this moment as well to thank the Scottish Junior FA for my media pass for today. Really appreciate it. I am now over at the Glens End. They are warming up right now ahead of the big game. There are your Rutherglen Glen Cairn Ultras over there with their drum already in full voice and the game hasn't even started yet. Here we go, let's get this ball back. We're even getting a little light show here at Broadwood. I mean it's too sunny for it but at least they're trying. Right, we're joined by two Glens fans. Huge game tonight at Broadwood. What do you think the score will be? Yeah, three uh, wine Glens. Six five and pens after one each draw. We've even got a mascot for the game tonight for Glens. And go the Cumnock players. The Glens players are still out, but I'm pretty sure they will be heading in soon. And go the Glens players now ahead of a huge game. Crowd are up for it. I've decided I'm going to come to the Cumnock end for the first half, maybe go over to the Glens end for the second half, but we'll wait and see. Here come the teams onto the pitch up Broadwood. Look at the support, this is brilliant. Brilliant to see. Look at the pile up there. Look at 
Thomas. This is amazing, just shows how big tonight is for both clubs. Look at what it means to the fans. And you can just imagine what it would mean to them to win the cup tonight. Cumnock Junior fans loving it here. Glenn's fans loving it over there. It's just brilliant to see. We are about to get underway. And here we go. I apologise by the way, it's quite hard to see the game because of the sun. Nice and sunny day and coming out today. Corner two, rather going here. Can they take the lead? Oh, what then? And cleared away by Cumnock. Chance for Cumnock. Great chance here for Glenn, saved. <laughs> Corner to Cumnock Juniors, can they take the lead? Oh, what then? Safe hands for the keeper. Throw in Glens. Oh, whipped into the box. Still there, though. And cleared the wing. to an opener. One goal come look again, here shoots. Just over. There we go, the sun's starting to go away. That's better now. Free kick to Rutherglen Glen Cairn. Can they go 1-0 no up? 32 minutes into the game already. Still 0-0. No, no. Could this be the first goal? Worked into the box. It's a good ball, but safe hands from the keeper. Glenn's with the ball. Nice flick on. So we've got Spencer and Zach here. What are your thoughts of the game so far? Uh, I think it's been a really good game. Uh, it's alright. Yeah. I think uh, Cumberland's been doing really good with the ball and getting a lot of chances in. Yeah. 
what do you think full time score will be? 2-0. Uh, uh, four one. One minute added time at Broadwood. There is the half time whistle at Broadwood. It's half time here at Broadwood. It is Cumnock Juniors now, Rutherglen Glen here now. I'm not going to lie, it's been a boring first half. Um, not much between the teams to be fair, they've both had their chances but not taking them. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll see you all in the second half at Broadwood. Look at this, got myself a pie and a can of coke. Here we go for the second half. As I said in the clip before, I got my pie. Um, for free as well, so thank you very much to the Scottish Junior FA. I am not missing the pie of you, I'll give it a solid 8 out of 10. Could this be the opener? Ball at 10. So close. Free kick to Cumnock. Can they take the lead? Headed away, not the best crossing. Still has it though. Right across. Another sub for Cumber Juniors here. to go at Broadwood. Surely a goal will come at some point. Could this be the first? Great chance here. He's quick. Into the box. Oh no. Skied over. That is looking more promising though from Cumberland Juniors. Kick to Rutherglen Glen Cairn. Could this be the opening goal? Punched away. Nice! Great save. Corner to Cumnock Juniors. 
Great ball in, punched away by the keeper. Number four is there at the back post. And it's gone all the way, another corner. Ball whipped in, headed away. Subs for Glens here. Not long to go, only about eight minutes. Still nothing between the teams. Went into the box.
Look at what it means to everyone. Look at this as well. The support all round Broadwood tonight. Brilliant to see that. Just look at these scenes. Unbelievable right here. This is madness. Come not juniors are the champions. In the last moments of the game as well. They won it. It's just amazing. Brilliant to see this. Uh, commiserations to Rutherford Van Kern as well. Good to see uh, the players um, getting congratulated here. But, uh, well, this is mental. You kind of knew there would be a pitch invasion at the end for the team that won. Look at what it means. As a Rangers fan, I approve. I'm feeling it from all of the Cumnock Junior fans. This is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Look at this, look what it means. Captain's joining in look. Come the runners up. are getting ready to go and lift the trophy. Just collecting their medals. Then all of them will be up there to lift the trophy. They are getting ready to lift it. Trophy is in the hands. Oh, I've been drenched.
to the fans, brilliant to see. Right, so we're joined by Jamie Barkley. Jamie, how does it feel to be oh, champions? It's unbelievable, honestly. Uh, a really, really, really tight game. Could have went either way and we were lucky just to score at the end. So I've never experienced it last, like so it's unbelievable, man. Yeah, and how much do the fans help? Oh, I mean, we knew they were going to turn out in big numbers, and they did, especially for a Friday night. I mean, they've come down for so far away and come back full stand and never won by the goal, so it's unbelievable, man, honestly. Congratulations. Thanks, right, so we're joined by the captain of Cumberland Juniors. How does it feel to lift the cup tonight? Amazing. The dreams are made to be honest with you. Um, I've said before, it's my, my own town, it's my local team. To go and win it, to go and That's what it's all about. Three years, three, four years, I mean, it's fantastic. Yeah, so how much do the fans help you get over Amazing. the line? The, the fans have been unbelievable from day one, all the way through. Um, you've seen that with the, the Talbot game, the Hurford game, and then also the Browns game in the semi-finals. The, the support for outstanding, the drive through Cumberland. More or less every house in the streets, they've all got flags, banners, scarves, buttons up in the street. I mean, sir, we'll certainly enjoy it. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Wow, wow, wow. You would have seen the scenes there. Absolutely mental. Oh, what a night. Congratulations to Cumberland Juniors. Commiserations uh, to <laughs> Brother Glenn Glen Cairn. Uh, but, wow, you just had to look at the celebrations here. Did you enjoy it? Oh, uh, yeah, we enjoyed it. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Congratulations to Cumberland Juniors. And before I go, thank you very much to the Scottish Junior FA for my media pass today. Really appreciate it. See you all soon. Goodbye.